today. I just love Christmas in the clubhouse. I'm having the best time. Today I'm using all my Christmas cookie cutters to make cool shapes with Play-Doh. I bet I can make the whole Christmas story just by using my cookie cutters. Want to help? Great! My first cookie cutter is an angel. Do you remember what the angel did in the Christmas story? Yes! The angel told Mary that she was gonna give birth to baby Jesus. This one is a candy cane shape, but it looks like something from our story. Do you know what this is? That's right, it looks like a shepherd's hook. The shepherds told others about Jesus after they saw him. Do you know what shape this is? That's right, it's a star. Hmm, I wonder what it could be for. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Is that a star you've got with you? Hi, Ollie. It sure is. I've been telling the whole Christmas story using my cookie cutters. And the star is the last one. Is the star part of the Christmas story? A star is a part of the story. It's true. I can share all about it with you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Oh, hi friends, I'm Justin the Mailman, and this month we've been telling the true story of Christmas. There was a baby who was born. Does anyone remember his name? Hmm, let's think, what's his name? Yes, Jesus. Jesus is special because Jesus is God's son. But the story isn't over yet. There's one more part that you've got to know. Let me just put our story mail in the mailbox, and here we go. After Jesus was born, God put something very special in the sky. It was a soccer ball. No, that's not right. God put a puppy dog? No, that'd be pretty silly. No, God put a... Star. Yes, God put a star in the sky and far, far away. There were some wise men who saw it. They knew the star meant something special. God put the star there because his son, Jesus, was born. They got so excited. We've got to follow it, they said. We must go find God's son. So they hopped in their race car. Wait, no, that's not right. They didn't have cars back then. They hopped on their scooters to follow the star. Wait, no, they didn't have scooters either. No, they probably rode on an animal, one that would be able to walk through the desert with lots and lots of sand. Any guesses? Mm -hmm. Well, let's see. Here come the camels. The wise men got on the camels and set out to follow the star. Finally, the star led them to Jesus. When they saw him, they knew he was God's son, and they bowed down and worshiped him. They gave him presents because they knew Jesus was very special. Jesus is special because Jesus is God's son. And we can remember how special Jesus is every day, not just on Christmas. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me. Why is Jesus special? Jesus is God's son. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, why is Jesus special? 
Jesus is God's son. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Merry Christmas. So there is your story. It's all true. The wise men followed the star and found Jesus. Who? Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, that's such a great story. The wise men followed a star and found Jesus. They knew Jesus was special because Jesus is God's son. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! With these cookie cutters, we can tell the story of Christmas anytime we want to. I'm gonna go tell my sister right now. Let's see. Angel, Jesus, Shepherd Hook, Star. I got them all. I'll see y'all next time. Merry Christmas, bye!